Oh, I need them. Oof. Right, guys. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we've got the Grom in the back of the van again. Or as Ben likes to call it, the Grom Bagini. I feel like that's actually a pretty fitting name. I won't lie. I might steal that idea off him. And quickly get a sticker made or something. It says Grom Bagini. So, yeah, we're out of the strip again. Ooh. I'm going to quickly get it out the bloody van. One of the easiest bikes just to manoeuvre about. Oh, it's going to be a bit techy with my helmet on. I don't normally do this. I can't see. I'm scared I'm going to scratch my helmet. Oh. Light work. Alright, let's get her out. Easy. Right, let's get her warmed up. While I explain to you. What this video is all about. So yeah, as you know from the title of the uh, video. Ow, I've trapped my finger. It happened again. Yes, I have flipped the Grom once again. Another one. Another one. And another one. Fucking ass. Mr. Flips is back in action, or Mr. Splats, don't know, I've got a few names now. But yeah, I mean this is the whole reason I bought this bike, because I knew it was going to be dropped. With the way that I'm riding, the limits I'm pushing at the minute, it was inevitable. But yeah, this one was a bit of a, a silly one. But now, we have a problem. We have a boblem. <sighs> notice anything different? Or do you notice anything missing? Yeah. I ain't got no peg no more, because Honda have decided to make these out of like, powder. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like powder or something i don't even know what it is but they're just weak as anything because that's happened twice now if anyone knows what that is let me know in the comments so now i'm kind of forced to either use the rear peg so i have my leg like that but because my knee i know i keep complaining about my knee but seriously guys i'm in quite a lot of pain oh but baby when i have my leg bent like this i get the shooting pains on my knee uh, so right now doing that hurts in a wheelie it's not too bad because it kind of like straightens out a little bit but i can either just let my leg dangle get some style points you know what i'm saying or i can try and learn knee knockers or a staggered approach which i'm going to try and do today um the only thing is i know i'm gonna say it again my knee i can't put pressure on it shut up bitch i don't know we're gonna see how it goes it might be all right it might not actually hurt and i might just be being an absolute right anyway let's get some practice in shit there we go i'm just chilling boy I'm trying to get the revs a bit lower i don't really want them to get to like red line maintain between five and seven really because as i say i haven't got that flipping pump mod yet so i don't want to be starving the bloody engine you know what i'm saying One day, I'll be able to do a 360 and go back there out of the other way. Um, let's do a few more just normal wheelies and then we'll switch to trying something a bit different. Might actually do some like shot offs as well because I need to practice coming off the throttle. You know what I'm saying? Bring it up, shut that throttle off. Easy, light practice. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. That was pretty good. Because you should never be on throttle when you're at or past balance, apparently. Oh, I'm not really giving out tips yet because, as you lot know, oh, wait, that was pretty far back. Uh, I keep crashing. So slow right now. Oi! That'll do. Arms are taking a beating. Whoo! 
so many like tricks I want to learn like one handers is one of them I've kind of been trying those it's just like sketchy letting go of the oh letting go of the handlebars because I think the what you're normally scared about is the uh it's just letting go so once you get like that initial let go it's actually not too bad but then it's just like finding the correct ting tongs you know what i mean like <laughs> it is scary putting it down with one hand oh i just let the bike chill out for a sec before i do any more so yeah going back to the flip or the crash whatever you want to call it just to give you an idea of what i think happened and i think i'm correct in when i say this so normally when i practice i have about five minutes where um i have no distractions no music nothing and i just get to uh, feel the bike especially if i've not been on the bike for a few days i'll always make sure that i get a feel for the bike again so no music so i can hear the bike all my senses are on the speech but yeah that day for some stupid unknown reason i thought ah let me just slam on my music straight away stupidest thing i've ever done because yeah i didn't have a feel for the bike so i just fully sent it and i was just grooving whatever and then yeah i think what happened after reviewing the footage is i was just i popped it up it came up quicker than i expected and i'm so used to just putting throttle on i think i must have been at balance or just past balance and i've just Yeah, whereas normally, I would, uh, if I wasn't listening to my music or anything, I'd hear it and I'd understand that, okay, hang on a minute, I need to chill out here for a sec. But, yeah, because I'm a stupid little man. Actually, I'm not a little, I'm fucking much stiff. Uh, I didn't listen to myself. And, yeah, now we're facing the consequences. But there you go. That's what we get for being a twat. All right, let's get, um, let's try some knee knockers, shall we? All right, don't judge me on these, because this, this will literally be the first time that I've ever done them. I've done a few on the 250, but not a lot, and that was flipping ages ago oh i can't get my knee oh so yeah this is my first real attempt so i'm gonna give you some raw footage right now of the actual first attempt you reds now i'm crazy oh i don't know if i can do it man my knee no i'm not backing down right let's just nice just send it boy just trying to get a feel for it my god we're up okay that was easier than expected once it was up oh, it's, it's, it's destroying my knee though no oh guys i'm sorry i can't do it my knee i'm putting pressure on it bending it it's not looking good brev it's not looking good brev right i'm gonna set the uh I'm gonna set the tripod up so you can see some third person stuff. Might as well get some third person action shots so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'll try and slow the bike right down for you. Uh. Well then guys, there you go. I'm gonna call uh, you know, what was that? <coughs> I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, we made some good progress today. I've obviously I've practiced my sit-downs, I've started to learn knee knockers. The progress is progressing. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>